On this planet, there are plenty of animals that are closely related to each other. In most cases, it's easy to tell if an animal is closely related to another animal, as some animals that are closely related to each other share some physical characteristics, and also behaviours. On the other hand, there are some animals that look closely related to each other that actually aren't very closely related at all. In most cases, this is a form of convergent evolution, where certain species occupy similar ecological niches and adapt in similar ways in response to similar selective pressures. There are some great examples of convergent evolution, as it can easily be seen with tenrex and hedgehogs, hummingbirds and hummingbird hawk moths, and flying lemurs and sugar gliders. Strangely, there are some animals on this planet that seem to have nothing in common yet are closely related to each other. In this video, I will be going through just a few of these examples as I will be going through six animals you didn't know were related. And for our first species, we will be heading over to Africa, as we have the rock hyrax. Now, the rock hyrax is a very strange-looking mammal, and some would say that it looks almost rodent-like. They're not the largest of creatures, reaching a maximum weight of around 5 kilograms, and this small size means that they're a target for many predators. They are known to be favoured prey for leopards, hyenas, and wild dogs, and almost all large land predators in Africa will go after this species if they get the chance. As the rock hyrax isn't the fastest of creatures, it does have to be quite cunning when avoiding predators. They're usually found at elevations of over 4,000 meters, and as their name suggests, they are found in rocky areas. They have relatively good eyesight and hearing, and this means that they can hear and spot predators before it's too late. When a predator approaches, they will dive into the rock crevices, and this is often enough for them to escape. Although the rock hyrax isn't a rodent, it does have some rodent-like features. It does have some pretty nasty incisors, and these incisors grow continuously throughout their lifetime. These strange teeth help them chow down on vegetation, as these mammals are mostly grazers and browsers, and they feed on a wide variety of plants that are poisonous to other creatures. If you were to try and guess what the rock hyrax's relatives were, you might guess some sort of large rodent, or maybe a small Australian mammal. Strangely, this animal's relatives don't look anything like it, and they also live completely different lives. It turns out that the rock hyrax isn't just closely related to the African elephants, but it's also quite closely related to manatees. There are three species of manatee alive today, the West Indian manatee, the African manatee, and the Amazonian manatee. These three species all live lives very similar to each other, and are mostly docile, slow-moving creatures. The manatees couldn't live a life more different than the rock hyrax, and it's thought that they evolved from four-legged land animals more than 60 million years ago. Since then, they have lost limbs and travelled around the world, and this just goes to show that you can't judge a book by its cover, and these two creatures are close relatives after all. But for our next group of animals, we will be staying in Africa, as we will be taking a look at the hyenas. Now, there are four species of hyena alive today. The spotted hyena, the brown hyena, the striped hyena, and the strangely named aardwolf. These four species share certain characteristics, but they do differ in stature, size, and diet. The spotted hyena is the largest species of hyena, and will give most African predators a run for their money. They are mostly known for being scavengers, but they are impressive hunters in their own right. But some of the other hyena species, such as the brown hyena and the striped hyena, are more well known for their scavenging behaviour. Each hyena species has different traits and behaviours that make them unique, and they can also inhabit the same area without directly competing with each other. Brown hyenas are known for being relatively quiet and timid, and they do very well in arid areas. They venture further into deserts than any other species of hyena, and this sometimes means that they target prey that the other species of hyena don't go after. Striped hyenas are slightly smaller than the spotted and brown hyenas, and they are also the least studied. Part of the reason behind this is that they are relatively rare, as their global population is thought to be around 10,000 mature individuals. Although these animals look nothing like opossums, they do share one strange behaviour, as sometimes when threatened, the striped hyena will play dead. Of course, this technique doesn't always work, and they're perfectly capable of standing their ground as well. The aardwolf, on the other hand, is a bit of an oddball, as it mostly feeds on insects. Its name translates to earth wolf, and this refers to its burrowing behaviour and its habit of digging up termite mounds. Some hyena species' behaviour is very similar to that of dogs, as they seem to have an almost pack-like mentality. These cackles are usually led by females, and these females have rather strange pseudo-penises. When they are in such large groups, very few predators will mess with them, but some of the smaller hyena species are solitary. 
For most people around the world, hyenas seem very dog-like, and some may even view them as strange dogs. But famously, hyenas are more closely related to cats than they are to dogs, and their closest relatives are actually mongooses and civets. Civets are quite a diverse group of creatures, and once again they can look very dog-like and also very cat-like. They can be found over Africa and Asia, and have adapted to many different ecosystems and many different ecological niches. The African civets can be found in many of the same areas as the hyenas, and in most cases if you were to see them together you wouldn't guess that they are closely related. This would definitely be the case with the larger spotted hyena, but if you compare the aardwolf and the African civet, you can start to see some similarities. So it turns out that these dog-like creatures are more closely related to cats, and they're even more closely related to civets. But for our last species, once again we can stay in Africa, but we can also head to parts of Asia too. That's because finally we will be taking a look at the honey badger, and the honey badger is a very misunderstood creature. For most people, the honey badger is a relatively small yet fierce creature, and will never back down from a fight. Of course, this fact is 100% true, as honey badgers have been known to chase off leopards and lions, and seem to be almost fearless. This should give you a clue as to who their closest relatives are, but we'll get to that a little later on. As well as being very fierce creatures, honey badgers are also very intelligent. They are known to have some problem-solving abilities and are even able to use tools. One of the most intelligent honey badgers on record is named Stoffel, and this honey badger lives in an animal rehabilitation centre in South Africa. Stoffel became famous years ago after a number of videos were published, and in these videos Stoffel would escape his enclosure and cause havoc. He'd often pester cooks in the kitchen and steal belongings, but on a number of occasions he would escape just so he could fight some captive lions. Even after years of trying to contain Stoffel, he still finds a way out, and it really seems like he's quite a character. In the wild, the honey badger has quite a varied diet, and will often raid beehives as well as hunting small creatures such as insects, tortoises, and lizards. The honey badger has quite a confusing name, and it also has quite a confusing appearance. It looks like a skunk and it's called a badger, but its closest living relatives are the martins. The martins are again another quite diverse group of animals, and they can be found all over the world. Martins, just like most other mustelids, are known for being very feisty for their size, and this is a trait that it shares with the honey badger. If you put some martin species next to the honey badger, you can see the resemblance, but of course the honey badger looks a lot stockier and a lot more powerful. So not only is the honey badger very powerful and intelligent, but it's also closely related to a group of animals that can be found all over the world. If you know of any other strange examples of animals that are closely related to each other, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.